the Bamboo Lab slicing software. So instead of using the screen, we're going to try to send the file over. And now I was told I had the build plate in wrong. So I'm going to make sure I have it in right this time. It did not mess up my print. Now this time I took that generic PLA and the PLA that came with the bamboo printer and I swapped those out because I'm running low. I'm going to use this one to build the box and I'm going to use this one for the labeling. Here's what I just noticed though. There's black PLA there and green over here. So it knows the difference between the colors because I swapped those out. I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. All right. So what we've done so far is we previewed it and we had it run it as if it was going to go through the printer just to test, make sure there was no problems. It should take around seven hours to complete. And we had to connect our devices. So I'm going to go up here and just show that. So our device is connected. I'm going to hit play here and it should go through the Wi-Fi and pick up our camera. So there's our camera. We've already got the build plate color for it, but um, color is our generic PLA. There we go. And then color is going to be black. All right. So let's go back to our preview. This is where we previewed the file before. And let's go ahead and print this bad boy. So this is our printer here. All right, so it went. Now it should be going through the setup process. So it's downloading. All right, so it's heat bed is preheating. So it's doing its thing so far. And you can see it's showing the box here. So it's got the software uploaded. It's at 1%. Now this is seven hours and five minutes on the screen in here. It is heating up right now. And then next step will be cleaning the nozzle tip. So now it's going through cleaning the nozzle tip. And then it should go to auto bed leveling fairly quickly. It's raising the bed up. It's doing the auto bed leveling. Looks like it's doing its test print. So it's calibrating extrusion. So it looks like it's printing the base layer. Bamboo app running. It's printing the first layer. You can see it here on the screen. My Wi-Fi is slow, so that's why it's kind of hit or miss on the actual recording. But it looks like it just finished up that base layer. And it, I believe it's going to do the base layer of the second part of that. And then it should um, go through, analyze both of those base layers, and it will start printing the it's rest. Put down the first layer over here. It's putting down the other first layer of the other side of the box. And this is the one that had the label. It's done with the first layer and now it looks like it's building the second layer on that first box that it made so i think we're good it says there are six hours and 47 minutes left we're gonna let it do its thing it has finished the print let's see if i can get that thing right there it's really stuck all right so this is our first large scale print, downloaded it from printables, and we actually use the software. So first time we've had to make adjustments to the software. All of our other prints that we did before were directly off the screen of the X1 Carbon. And now we've got something that we've had to use the other features. So I'm hoping this leads us to the point where we can uh, start making our own prints eventually once we print enough of these off. So that looks really good. It did not print this as green, so I probably did something wrong. 
but you can see that it's there. It is a different color, but super excited about that. Really cool. I'm going to use this to store bolts and stuff. And I like how secure it is. I may have to shave that down a little bit. So it's got a little divot in there. And it just locks in place.